What is go what is going on, guys? And t today we are back with another video. Uh, and we are back with another year of um, looking look looking at um, the Premier League the Premier League home kits. Yes, yeah, starting with the home kits. Hopefully we see some good kits this year, not so many concerning ones that we have to do so, do some too many rants at. I'm sure you all see a couple. I'm sure you're going to see a couple of rants in this video. I'm sure you will here. <laughs> the, the most important thing about um, the kit, the kit videos, is it's more of an opinion. Basically, you're not uh, you're not basically wrong on the kit. It's basically like your opinion. Basically, you can't read. You can debate it basically, but it's just your opinion basically. Right, starting first. Right, let's get straight into the video then. First off, in twentieth place. Twentieth place. I've got Crystal Palace. But could you have even released a, a bloody kit yet? You've released a away kit and a third kit though, but you haven't released a home kit. What the hell is going on? Get on with it, Crystal Palace. Why do you release a way, a, an away kit and a fur kit first? You you should be releasing your home kit first, then then your away kit and your fur kit. I'm not saying you, you can't release an away kit and a fur kit, but you need to re release the home one first. So there you go, Blossom. Right, on into nineteenth place now, and I've gone and I've got Newcastle United. And honestly, my rant here is at the collar. What the hell is that collar? And um, you've got that Fun88 sponsor. Well, there's nothing good about that sponsor. Um, this year, they've just taken all the lines out this year. Last season's was actually okay. It was a little bit boring, but last season's actually had potential. Well, if you were taking away the colour this year, they have one black line this year, but it still might have had potential if you took away the colour though. Well, I think 19th, 19th place is being, being generous. If Palace would have released a kit right, I would have put them 20th place. That That is just a poor kit. That is just a poor kit. It's the same. This is the same kit maker here as... Um, Right, Glasgow Rangers and Wolves. They've just got to do better. Right to 18th place now. We've got Burnley. Well, um, they've done a little bit better than they have for the last two seasons. I give you that. They've taken out the Chinese sponsor. That that is a good that is a good start. Fair play. You replaced it with Spread Export. So I don't know what that is, but it seems a better sponsor. But my only can but those blue lines on the sleeves are disgusting, though. We got the we got the claret colour on that uh, on the top. Well, and the collar. But why? Well, what can Bernie do with the kit? They can't do much more, really. Is 18th place Haas? Could I have put it outside the relegation zone? It wouldn't have gone anything higher than 16th or 17th, but but last season I'd have put their kit around 19th or 20th. But um, I put their kit up one extra mark, one extra mark for getting rid of um their sponsor and replacing it with a newer sponsor, despite me not knowing where uh, what it is. I think. What they need to improve on is by um, making those, uh, you know, those lines, um, make them a bit better, make them like claret, just the whole kit like claret and keep, and you've got like blue on the bat and the, um, a bit on the bat, haven't you? So you could put a bit on the collar, couldn't you? So you've got to do a little bit better, Bernie, I'm afraid. On to 17th place now, and we got Spurs. Oh my God, Spurs. They've just done nothing. It's this is not a football top. It's a training top. Well, the thing with Spurs is they don't wreck their home kits, but they don't do anything with them. 
Well, you've got the Nike, you've got the Nike bass, you, Nike bass. You've got the Spurs badge, and you've got the Hughes um, AS sponsor. Um, you've got nothing on the back or on the on the sleeves of the uh, white top. So basically, overall, it's just a white. It's a white bib or white pajama set. It's nothing really. Um, I could. Um, I think I might have been asked on Burnley instead of put Burnley in seventeenth and Spurs in eighteenth, but. I put Spurs in 17th because it's there in the relegation zone because Spurs haven't messed up their kits. They've just basically just haven't done anything with it. Spurs, you go in 17th place, but um, that's generous. You, generous, Just outside the relegation zone and you survive from going in the bottom three. You've just got to do a lot more with your kits, I'm afraid. Um, on to 16th place now. Which is Manchester City. It's it's quite boring to be honest. It's just quite light. It's just um, there's not much going on with it really. But last season, I didn't really like it. Last season's well, last season's kit. I didn't really like it, but then it started to grow on me. But this season is just too light really. The collar, nothing really going on with the collar really. Uh, well, they kept the sponsor, I suppose. It's not it's the sponsor. Sponsor, I don't mind it, it's okay. But when you get used to a sponsor, it can get kind of boring. However, it is nice to keep the same sponsor instead of getting a weird sponsor. <laughs> I don't know what the pattern is, but it just looks too light and a little bit weird for me. So, it's not for me. So, 16th, 16th, 16th place. Is that harsh? Maybe it is, but... Um, I just can't give it anything higher than that. 15th place now, and I've got Manchester United. What the hell is this sponsor here? Team Viewer. If I was a Man United fan, I, it, it wouldn't just it wouldn't feel right for me to wear that uh, kit. It wouldn't feel right on me. Sev, uh, why didn't they just keep that Sev Roll sponsor there instead? If they would have had that several sponsor in this kit here, here I would have um, probably given the kit um, a higher mark. Well, the collar is just plain white, that's fine. And then you've got the three white lines on each side. The kit for me is just really too basic, really. It's just really the sponsor that just lets the kit down, really. It's just overrated, it's nothing special, really. It's just been a real, real letdown. So, fifteenth place. It's, poor, poor, it's a, it's a poor kit, really. Right, the fourteenth place now. We've got Aston Villa. Oh, nothing much has really changed from last season, apart from the line, apart from changing the lines. The lines were actually better last season, but this season they've been made worse. Um, and Kappa, um, Kappa usually do make nice kits, but really, the last two seasons, um, well, the first season Kappa did a great job, but this was was that Kappa that made that kit? I'm not sure. This kit here for Kappa, the Tyler Shocker, honestly, they've got to do a lot, lot more. But what else can you do on home kits like this? So you can't do much else either, though, can you? But it's still poor. You just the only thing they, they kept the carrot and blue, but and the only thing they changed really, it just lines into a different pattern, and that's it. So fourteenth place is generous for me. So and that is generous. So fourteenth place. Um, right onto thirteenth place now. We've got um, Arsenal. They've 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 produced a very uh, a poor kit this year. I could have put it a little bit lower, but there, are, but there are worse kits than than that one. You got blue uh, blue lines on each side of the kit. 
of the kit. For me, it doesn't work. It it, it doesn't work. It's fine and blue on the back. Um, I preferred white there. However, that can, becomes too basic. Uh, there's not much going on with the collar, really, is there? It would have kept the Emirates sponsor. So overall, the last, uh, last couple of seasons, Arsenal have had some great kits. They just have had some great moments on the pitch, really, have they? So 13th place. Right, to 12th place now, we've got Watford. Um, here we are. It's a kit here. We've got um, you've got um, the black black lines. Um, how you've got a bit, a bit of a tone going on with them. Basically, you've got a bit of a pattern basically there. The four lines basically been blended basically into a different pattern instead of like a, um, a straight black line. Black we've got black lines, but they're not like you've got a bit of a pattern with them, haven't you? So. And then you've got the collar. The collar is fine, and then you got yellow, uh, and you got yellow on the top, right? But my big uh, rant here is that what the hell is that crap of a sponsor? Stake dot com. Why the hell would you let you? Why the hell would that kit maker count? Let what put that on a kit? Why the hell would the Premier League accept that? <laughs> I think the kit is really nice, nice, but um, the sponsor just lets it down. That's why everybody's hating on it. If if there wasn't any sponsor or there was a different, if there was a different sponsor and it was smaller, I think that not many people would hate on it. So you think this kit is a mid-table kit in 12th place? Right to 11th place now. We've got West Ham. Is it? It's a decent look for me. However, it can look like lesser wear low and a bit average. It takes you back to the season where they were up, up Upton Park for me. It's got the Betway sponsor in the claret and blue there. Uh, the collar is a smart look, to be honest. You could, they can't do much wrong, but they could do a little bit better though. But I don't know what what else they could do better to the kit, but they just. But overall, it's it, it's decent. It's decent. Right, to temp on the tenth place now we've got Liverpool. This is a controversial one for F one. Last season it was as well. I I'm still not too sure on this one here, but you got orange on the collar, orange on the end of the two sleeves, and and you've got red on the tip on the kit. For me, does this work? Well, I dunno. I was planning on putting it lower, but I thought it was better than the other a few of the other kits. So, so it's going to go in um, dead mid table on on tenth on tenth place. Would I buy it personally? No, it's not the worst kit in the world. Personally, they could do a lot lot better Liverpool. So mid table. Right to ninth place now. We've got Norwich City. 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 We, they've gone for a diff, Nor Norwich have gone for something new this season. They've gone for a Lotus sponsor. It's not a bad sponsor. Then you've got um, on the sleeves. You've got a bit of green. I don't mind that to be honest. And on the top of the arms, you've got a bit of green. You can't see the collar too well, and you can't see much going on with the arms except you can see a bit of green. I like to see the. Taken out the Dapper Bet sponsor and gone. Um, a Celtic can't uh, take out that Dapper Bet sponsor, can they? At least uh, Norwich can. And Norwich can. They've tried to renew. Let's see if that works for them this season. Personally, I quite like it. They've done so renew, so it gets an upper mid table position for me. Beyond that, so ninth place. Well done, Norwich. Right at eighth place now we got newly promoted, new promoted Brentford. You got you got red red lines that 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 works well. Umbro have done well there, and you got um, Hollywood bet bet sponsor instead of um, 
What was their original sponsor? I can't remember what the original sponsor was now. But um, and then you got a massive star there. I'm not too sure about the star, and however, I'm not hating on the sponsor, but I just don't know what it is. So I can't really hate or like it really, can I? <laughs> the colour, it's okay. Uh, what else can you do with it really? You could get the same sponsor, except I don't know what else you could do really. However, is eighth too nice? Should it be like? A solid mid-table position however I have put it in eighth place so well done Brentford not bad right to seventh place now we've got Everton um, not not a bad kit I certainly preferred last season's we got um, some pa some pattern on the blue top here right um, I don't know what's sort of going on here, right? But I don't really. Uh, to be honest, um, I don't have a prop. I don't have a problem with it, right? I don't mind. I don't mind it really. It doesn't really bother me. And then you've got some like yellow there on the under the arms, and on the collar you've got a bit of yellow. There's not too much going on with the collar, but there's nothing bad about the collar either. So I suppose Everton are trying something new. So. Seventh place, how they could have done a little bit more though. Sixth place now, we've got Chelsea. Well, um, they've got a zigzag pattern on the kit, and then on the end of the, a small bit of the one side, you've got a kind of a chessboard pat pattern which kind of spoils the kit. And oh, it would have been better if you had the whole kit, the whole zigzag pattern. Arsenal had a, had a had a better zigzag pattern personally. On the on each end, you've got a bit of gold, and on the is that supposed to represent gold or or yellow? I'm not too sure. The collar, it's the collar is fine for me. For me, sixth place, but you could have done a, a little bit better though, and keeping the zigzag pattern not across the whole entire kit instead of messing it up slightly on the ends. Right to fifth now onto my team Wolves. Picture of Raheem Jimenez with the top on here. I don't mind the kit really. It's however we've had better kits so well it's better than last season. Last season was actually quite bang bang average. We got the dots on there. Well, it's supposed to it's something different, it's a bit of a design I suppose I suppose. Then going down you've got um black line on each side and then but my only concern is here on the cut you've got some black design going around the collar the collar is fine but going around the going around it you've got some black thing going around it and one each side there's some black and then they stop the design they've just stopped the work and haven't put any effort in with the rest of it going around so that's why it hasn't got any ire so fifth place overall it's, it's an okay kit so personally I will I will personally I will buy the kit as well so fifth place right to fourth place now we've got Leeds United decent look it's, uh, it's a smart look you can't really go much wrong with it really what else can you do with that kit we got yellow Yellow lines on each side of the kit at the top. You got that SBO top sponsor, so bot top sponsor on the side. Then a lot that B O X T spot box thing is about though. That box thing is about, but um, never mind. But overall, this is a nice kit. They changed the those blue. Change the yellow line, the blue lines to yellow this season, which makes the kit represent more of Leeds United this season, which makes it even better. So fourth place, well done Leeds United. Um, right on to third place now. We've got Southampton. This is one of the best Southampton's kit I have seen in years now for Southampton. The colour. It's a design. It's gone for a di It's good design. It's gone trying a different technique on the collar. They got that sports bet dot 
sports bet sponsor, sports bet sponsor on there, a Chinese sponsor on there, which kind of lets the kit down. But the way it's formatted out and positioned right, isn't it doesn't exactly look that bad. You've got some arrows going down on that kit there on the white, which can make it look like a rugby top. However, it does look really nice though. So, Southampton is my third place. Well done, Southampton. On to second place, now we've got Leicester City. Um, Leicester tries to be new again. They've done some different type of pattern again, so they've got, done something new. They've here we are. We've got. Um, and they gone for a different spot. How are they gone for a different sponsor though? FBS Trade Online getting rid of King Power sponsor, which lets it down a little bit. How you got um, a slice of gold on there, which which is not too intimidating on there. And on the end of the arms, you got some gold. And the and the pattern blends into the to the top well. And then you got the white lines there again which are good so Leicester are my second place but I think they would have been top if um, they would have kept the King Power sponsor like sponsor though right on to first place now and there's only one team that we forgot to mention now and that's Brighton Hove Albion and Brighton get my first place well done Brighton they have smashed it this year um, they have done everything right right on that kit. They've kept the American Express sponsor again. Then they've got blue lines. Then they've got um, some gold on there. And then they've got a bit of gold going down the side there. So basically, it's not too in your face. They've got a white collar there, which is smart and it's sensible. So Brighton and Adidas have smashed it. So well done to Brighton. You have won my um. You have won um. For, you have won my Premier League home kits for being the best. You have the Wild under Brighton. So right then, guys, that will be the end of the um Premier League home kits video now. So if you did all enjoy this video, do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and also and also do subscribe to the channel. If you did, if you did all enjoy this video, do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Have a good one, F. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one, guys. Hopefully, I will try and do the Premier League away kit one tomorrow, if I have time. See, hopefully, I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Hopefully, I will. Bye, guys.